to continue our online lecture for travel agency operations and management, let's discuss the different types of trips. First, one-way trip. This is a trip that begins in one city and ends in another. Example, Miami going to Tampa, USA. One way, meaning the trip begins in one city, which is Miami, and ends in another city in Tampa, USA. Second, round trip. This is a trip that begins and ends in the same city. Example, Miami, USA, going to Tampa, USA, and going back for a return ticket or return tip, trip to Miami, USA. So the beginning and the end ending city is both Miami, USA. Circle trip. It involves at least three different flights and returns the point of origin. So this involves not only two cities, but three or more cities in just one flight. Example, Denver going to St. Louis, going to Miami, and going back to Denver. So that is a circle trip. Denver is the beginning and the end, ending city, but it has three cities in the flight itinerary. Circle trip. Open jaw. This is just like the circle trip. However, there is a leg missing. The passenger returns to different city or other than the origin or departs from the city that was not one of their destination. Example, Los Angeles going to Chicago going to San Diego. That is open jaw, meaning the beginning city, which is the Los Angeles, is not the ending city because the ending city or the, the, the destination is San Diego. Another example, Washington going to Los Angeles going to Baltimore. So the different city, there is a different city for beginning and ending. So we have four types of trips, one way, round trip, circle, and open jaw. Again, one way, this is the trip that begins in one city and ends in another, Miami to Tampa. Round trip begins and ends in the same city, while the circle trip begins and ends in the same city. However, there are two, uh, three or more cities included in the flight itinerary. Open jaw, circle trip, it has three or more cities. However, the beginning and ending city are different. Let's move on to the flight breaks. First is the non-stop. This is a flight that makes no stops. So let's say for example, Houston, Texas going to Miami, Florida. It is a non-stop flight. Direct flight. This is a flight that makes a stop en route but continues on the destination without changing the planes. Let's say, for example, Atlanta stopping in Dallas Fort Worth for, let's say, for example, for refueling or for check engine or for any reason, however, that the passenger this doesn't leave the plane and going to or continuing the trip going to Los Angeles. Direct flight. Connecting flight, example, Atlanta to Dallas Fort Worth going to Honolulu. This is a flight that hooks up to another flight to get the passenger to his or her destination. A domestic con connection is four hours or less between two flights. However, on the international connection, we have 24 hours or less. So this is what we call the connecting flight. Stopover. A voluntary break in travel that is four hours or more 
for domestic and 24 hours or more for international flight. It is a stop at an intermediate point before continuing to another destination. Let's say, for example, Kansas going to New Orleans and stop over, let's say, for example, for uh, four hours or six hours and then returning again to the plane going to New York or the JFK International Port. If ever the stopover would last for overnight, it is what we call the layover. This is a stop or a trip, usually overnight and usually associated with a change of planes. Because on the stopover, we only have 4 hours for domestic, 24 hours for international. And the, the carrier or the change of planes is not associated with stopover. We only change the plane if in case it is layover, usually for overnight stopover. Again, for the different types of flights of brakes, non-stop, direct flight, connecting flight, stopover, and layover.